It's been two decades since Buffy the Vampire Slayer first graced our TV screens, and in that time, a lot has happened. While some of the show's stars have continued working in Hollywood, others have traded in the spotlight for a less public career. Here's a look at what the cast of Buffy the Vampire Slayer looks like today. Sarah Michelle Gellar since Buffy the Vampire Slayer ended, the woman who played Buffy herself has taken on a number of different roles in films like The Grudge and TV shows such as Ringer and The Crazy Ones. Geller has also provided voice work for Robot Chicken and Star Wars Rebels, but perhaps her most unusual role has been as the founder of Foodsters, a company that delivers organic DIY bacon kit subscriptions to families hoping to spend a little more quality time together in the kitchen. Geller told Meredith Vieira she was inspired by her experiences cooking with her husband, Freddie Prince Jr., and their children. We've done all the legwork with these boxes for you to open them up with your family, with your girlfriends, whoever it is, and bake something from the heart. Allison Hannigan since her days as the lovable geek-turned-witch Willow Rosenberg, Allison Hannigan has continued working on TV, gaining even wider fame and a whole new fan following as Lily Aldrin on the hit sitcom How I Met Your Mother. She is also raising two daughters alongside her husband, fellow Buffy alum Alexis Denisoff, and hosts the magician competition Penn & Teller Fool Us. I will turn towards you, Allison, and I will wink. When I wink, you're going to grab the sword and pull it out of me. Oh, Allison. I might be on the floor by then. Nicholas Brendan The man behind Xander Harris has hit some hard times since his demon-fighting days. Though he continues to work in film and television, most notably with a recurring role on Criminal Minds, his private life has been a source of turmoil. Since 2004, the troubled actor has been in rehab at least three times, and he's also been arrested on four separate occasions, incidents that contributed to two divorces. He told Dr. Phil that it was the combination of addiction and mental illness that led to his woes. When I was getting arrested on the road, I would drink and I would mix them with those pills and I would wake up in jail. That combination was just, for me, was just very deadly. Anthony Stewart Head Anthony Stewart Head, who played Buffy's watcher Rupert Giles, has continued having a successful TV acting career, enjoying regular roles in shows like Dominion, Little Britain, and Merlin. Plus, he's landed a few gigs in films like The Iron Lady and Percy Jackson's Sea of Monsters. In 2014, Head released an album entitled Staring at the Sun, all while continuing to run a 96-acre animal farm with his wife, Sarah Fisher. Nice to know Giles is still out there doing good. David Boreanaz After wrapping his role on Buffy and, of course, its spin-off Angel, actor David Boreanaz jumped right into another major TV role, Detective Seely Booth on the crime comedy drama Bones, which just completed an epic 12-year run, proving that age hasn't slowed him down at all. You're presuming that just because somebody is old, they are less capable? That's ageism, Booth. Ageism? On the home front, Boreanaz has been married to former Playboy playmate Jamie Bergman since 2001, though the relationship has had its ups and downs. In 2010, Boreanaz admitted to infidelities. Boreanaz and his wife have seemingly been able to move past it all, going on to found the nail polish line Chrome Girl together. James Marsters after starring in Buffy and Angel as Spike, the vampire you love to hate, James Marsters found a few recurring roles in some popular shows. He made appearances on series like Smallville, Without a Trace, and Witches of East End, while also appearing in the 2007 film P.S. I Love You. As for upcoming projects, he's currently slated to star in Runaways, a Hulu show based on the Marvel comic book series of the same name. Beyond acting, Marsters, who married his second wife in 2016, has pursued a music career as both a solo artist and as part of his band, Ghost of the Robot. And he also stars in Vidiots, an online series following Marsters and actor Mark Devine as they travel and play video games. Pretty cool. Charisma Carpenter with a name like Charisma, Carpenter was destined to be an actress. After starring as the sassy queen bee Cordelia Chase in Buffy and Angel, Carpenter, who gave birth to son Donovan Charles Hardy in 2003, enjoyed recurring roles in shows like Veronica Mars and The Lion Game, as well as a gig in The Expendables films. And since 2013, she's been hosting the series Surviving Evil on Investigation Discovery. Eliza Dushku 
While she hasn't been as present on TV or film as she used to be, Dushku has still had her fair share of acting gigs. Soon after her days playing the rival slayer Faith on Buffy, Dushku snagged lead roles in shows like True Calling and Buffy creator Joss Whedon's other TV project Dollhouse. She also returned to school to pursue a degree in sociology. But things haven't always been fun and games for Dushku. In March 2017, Dushku revealed at the New Hampshire Youth Summit on Opioid Awareness that she's battled alcoholism and drug addiction in the past, though she's remained sober in recent years. It was fun and I loved it until it wasn't. And, you know, drugs didn't love me. They didn't love my family. Seth Green The star who rose to fame as the lovable werewolf Oz hasn't slowed down since his days on the Buffy set. After his role as Dr. Evil's son in the Austin Powers films and his series Dads, Green's mostly stuck to voice work. He steadily voiced characters like Chris Griffin on Family Guy and Leonardo in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. However, he's probably best known today for his work on Robot Chicken, a stop-motion sketch comedy show he co-created. Oh, and he also got married in 2010 to actress Claire Grant. What more could you ask for? Michelle Trachtenberg as a child actor who starred in movies like Harriet the Spy and Inspector Gadget, Michelle Trachtenberg had already achieved success before she joined Whedon's iconic show as Buffy's sister Dawn. Since the series ended, Trachtenberg has continued to appear in films like Seventeen Again and Eurotrip, as well as TV shows like Mercy, Weeds, Gossip Girl, and Guidance, where she played the school counselor rather than the student. Looks like little sister is all grown up. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.